Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from prettypapercards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today to show you how to make paper candy corn. And I'm tempting you with this real candy corn. Some people don't like it, but personally, I love it. And today we're gonna make some paper candy corn that you can use in all of your paper crafting. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. We're going to use Daffodil Delight cardstock. We're gonna use uh, Pumpkin Pie cardstock, and we're going to use Whisper White cardstock. And we're gonna use three different punches. This is gonna be a punch project. We're gonna use the two and a quarter inch punch, the two inch punch, and the one and a half inch punch. So let's get started. We're gonna start and try to mimic the real candy corns, which have, um, as their top layer, a yellow, and I'm using Daffodil Delight, and I'm gonna punch that out with the two and a quarter inch punch. And I'm gonna punch a circle, okay? And then our next layer is orange, so we're gonna punch a layer of, a circle of pumpkin pie. And our third layer is white, and I'm gonna punch um, a circle, a one and a half inch circle of Whisper White cardstock. Okay, now we've got all three of our layers here, and all we need to do is glue them together using some multi-purpose glue. And we do want to get it along the edges, um, not too close, but in other words, we want to pretty much cover the whole thing because if we don't, our, our little pieces might fall apart. So there's our pumpkin pie layer. Now, it isn't proportioned exactly like the candy corn, but that's okay, people will know what it is. And now we're going to adhere our Whisper White piece also with multi-purpose glue, like this, right in the center there. And we're gonna give that a few minutes to set up. Now, we're going to use um, we're going to cut it with scissors. Um, I tried cutting it on a paper trimmer, but with three layers of paper and uh, glue in between, it was a little, a little bit uh, too thick. And I found that it worked better with scissors, but I'm not using my good scissors. I'm using my, what I call my junky scissors. These are the ones I use to open packages and things like that. So we're just going to start and cut in half all the way through. And you can see that it does have a little bit of resistance. And so we're just cutting it like a pie, kind of like a pie. And we'll just do this. We'll just work with one half. We'll end up with four pieces, just for purposes of the demonstration. It's a little bit hard. Okay. Now we could leave them like this but we're gonna round the edges because the candy corn is definitely has rounded edges. And so now I'm using my Stampin' Up! paper snips that are much sharper and much more precision scissors because um, I really wanna get a nice rounded edge on each of those pieces of candy corn. And then once you've got this done, all, then you're free to use this on anything. I have used these little candy corns uh, as a decoration on a wreath. I've used them on a card, which I'll show you in a minute. And I also put them, glued them on a hair clip for my dog, my little Yorkshire Terrier. So once you make these, you can just go to town. And certainly you could use um, some dies, some circle dies, layering circle dies that Stampin' Up! has to get a lot of different sizes, but I just went with punches today because they're quick and easy, and I wanted to just show you this quick little video. So let's get our little tiny pieces out of the way, our little corners that we cut off, and there we have our candy corns. They're not perfect, but regular candy corn isn't perfect either, is it? Isn't that pretty cute? So you can make candy corn yourself this season. And here is a card that I made, um, that I made on one of my Facebook Lives. So if, if you're interested, you could go to my Facebook Pretty Paper Cards and find this video on there. I just did it the other day. 
and I this is how I used the candy corns in that case and I've lifted them up on Stampin' Dimensionals. So there is your little tutorial on how to make paper candy corn. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Bye-bye.